head over there. Today is November 6th and we're heading up to the Bighorns up in Boulder Basin and it's like going to be in the 40s so we're going to have a lot of fun. We're pro probably going to run into some mud but other than that it'll be fun. I didn't wear my long jeans today. Did you wear yours? Not my long jeans. And we're ready to go. there's gonna be any mud. It's all gonna be snow, isn't it? We're not getting stuck in any mud today. No. But we're hoping that we can get all the way through and it is our last chance for the Highland Hurrah. Woohoo! Woo! Oh, the toilets are smelly. <laughs> smelly, smelly, smelly. So. Outside in the trees, don't pee in the restroom. <laughs> Did you go in the smelly bathroom? I went into the nature wonderland. <laughs> I want to put the caps back on them. Uh-oh. Are they in the nature land? <laughs> Did you see that worried look on Dan's face? I didn't. He did. He had that worried look. Hey, do you want to come up? Yeah, we want to come. come. Jump in. Let's go. corner and you're slipping and sliding. Uh oh, now we are. saved us last time. It'll be all right. It's freaking cold out oh, here. Are you sure that that pole won't pull us up, Dan? So if you pull us out, then we can come up and pull you out. Yeah. So I'm heading up the hill to see what's over there, to see if it's even worth trying to get to the top. We should just turn around. Hooked up up there.
see an old cabin. So here we are at the base of the Crooked Creek Hill. We're going to climb on over the ridge and drop down into Shell Reservoir, drive on past Adelaide, and then we're going to go over on Buckley Creek. There's this really old cabin that's actually in the wilderness boundaries, and it's, it's a pretty neat cabin. Then we'll come on back and we're going to have lunch at Buckley Creek, another spot on Buckley Creek. We'll cross Buckley Creek here. Uh, then we'll cross Shell Creek. Then we'll go ahead and go through Boulder Basin, dodging all these boulders, and try and make this complete loop back to Crooked Creek Hill. I would almost rather not have any jacks. Oh, really? Yeah. How come? This seems easier. You might want to get your other boots on if you don't get, want to get your feet wet. Elaine has her coveralls on, but not her boots. Everybody's getting their boots on. You know, when I see snow like this, the words road closed come to mind, but not these guys. And I have to get on that plane tomorrow, so I do not want to be stuck out here in the snow. No, no, no. Go Dan. We don't stand on top. Yeah, it's hard snow. It's actually really hard snow. This is the most beautiful day. We're up here in the Bighorns. Uh, we're just going through Boulder Basin. We're gonna see if we can go all the way around. But yeah, it's a beautiful day. I'm so glad to be here. Hey guys, wanna eat at the cabin? Yeah, I think that's a good place to eat. Other than we have to pack everything to the cabin, it's 200 yards. Man, that, that just changes everything. Yep. We're good, but not that good. Yeah, I was just telling Dan that we should get the drone out. This might be a, a fun little challenge just to get all the way around. Yeah, it's a good challenge, I'll bet. Just an amazing view what used to be and still is in a way just a different way we are making the first set of tracks through here that is not a good sign that's a lot of spinning trying to get up that hill that's not a good sign because that's not a very steep hill oh Oh, sliding. Ooh, we're next. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think we're going to see the cabin. Yeah, we are. I see the sign up ahead of you, 200 yards. Yeah, well, it's awful deep right here, and we're stuck. I heard stuck. I heard we're stuck. Are we stuck for sure? Stuck in snow or mud. Snow. Thanks, Dan. What? I had a bet with Elgin. He said we were going to get stuck in mud. I said it was going to be snow. <laughs> Holy cow. 
We've seen worse. Huh? We've seen worse. We'll get out. So that's a good sign that we're stuck. What do you think, sis? Yes, that's why you have a tow rope. Can't beat a beautiful day on the mountain. It's east of Adelaide. We're at the wilderness boundary, so we can't drive anymore. So now we're on foot. Well, we were on foot. We still are. Dan found well, some bear scat. Well, has to be a brown bear, right, guys? Leave it to eagle eyes to find the bear scat in the road. Oh boy! Jump down to your left. Table. I think we should save that. There's a window. I wonder what their view was. There's some poop in here. It's probably cow poop. Glad I didn't fall in it. This is where they hang their keys. To what? Their horse? <laughs> to the cow. This is a pretty There's cow bed. Yeah, they freaking dug it in. Now that's weird. They freaking buried the, the bed posts in the ground. This is the water barrel. If you're laying in this bed, that's what you would see. That's cool. Whoever this cabin was, was not a very tall person. to get up the hill. Uh -huh. I wasn't trying to push you in. You go here. <laughs> <laughs> we have been wanting to start a fire up in the mountains all year, but they've had a fire ban, so we couldn't. Look at the hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Here. On a nice Take cold a day. <laughs> nice dropped chocolate. So Dan's going to try to get this little stove going. 
also that we can heat up our roast beef. We're gonna have hot roast beef sandwiches. I don't know guys, this is like the lot. What the heck? <laughs> this is getting out of hand. <laughs> guys are hiking down there to see if we should do this road personally I don't think we should do the road it's covered in snow and full of big boulders that we have to crawl over when we come through in the summer I can't believe they're even thinking about it I don't know Don't step in that eye. <laughs> this this Dan this is we haven't even got to the best part yet She is setting up there like Queen of Sheba.
say I get in weird positions. if we didn't make up the, this hill because then we could turn around and I know we can get home. That was good driving. Go straight. No. Turn. Wasn't too bad. Just follow her tracks. Timer. Yeah. There's Dan crossing Shell Creek. I'm a little worried we're going to be doing this at night in the dark. Oh, I thought you wanted me to go slow. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? He <laughs> hit. <laughs> That's not funny. Is Elgin because he rubbed? I oh, am. Yeah. He didn't just rub. He banged, man. <laughs> I just rubbed a control arm on the rock. Is it okay? Yep. No damage? Just a little skin. Hmm. Dan hit him. His deep pretty hard, too. Yeah, but he hit something that's meant to get hit. snow you can't see where their big rocks are which we knew was going to be the case so why are we here for fun yeah we're barely started into it actually Ooh. that didn't 
sound good. You know, the snow's wet enough right now, I think it helps you get a little bit of traction. Did I miss the road and does it go off to the right? To the right between these We're in an angle. And I thought we were gonna roll while I was hanging Going out the window. Up and take it. I missed Woo! the road. Yeah, there's the road over there. Look at there's the road. Dan found the road. I'm gonna blame all that on Melissa because she's hanging out the window and I'm seeing this big sideways hill. And I tell her, I'm too busy watching that instead of the road. who they are. Now it gets really narrow through the trees. And we didn't even bring our chainsaw. checking out what they just conquered. I think we have like an 80% chance to land it. Getting through? Certainly can't 
tell by looking out there. And I don't know if anybody else is worried about this, but we're at the top of the mountain and the sun has gone down. Which means we still... <laughs> Look at how tall Dan is compared to his jeans. stuck. We hit a brick wall and the snow is so thick. But I think I knocked it all down. This should go through here. We're at the top of the mountain. It's 6.30. The sun has gone down. Now we're gonna start going down that might be even worse who knows i think we fell in a hole well we have two choices i could come and try and jerk you out or we can play it safe and i could winch you out do the winch so we're gonna go right down that crack that's a steep hill, but you guys made it. I think this road is just like this until it hits the main uh, Shell Reservoir Road. So we made it up Crooked Hill, up on the Bighorns. Well, at least we made it out of there. Didn't have to spend the night. to be notified of all new videos and click the bell and set to all. Hey. Oh, was it Dan? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Oh, yeah, you're all nice. <laughs>